The late Commander Amopolo joined the People's Liberation Army of Namibia plane in 1974 where he teamed up with other Namibians in the fight for the country's independence. Upon his return to the country at independence, he served in the Namibian Defense Force where he became the commander for the 26th Brigade at the Grootfontein military base with the rank of Brigade General prior to his retirement in 2014. Speaking to NBC News, former head of the Namibian Defense Force, Martin Shali, described the late as a determined leader who devoted his life for the freedom of the country. Shali said his contributions to the liberation of the country will always be cherished and archived. He also fought so many battles, uh, so many to, to remember. However, there is one outstanding battle in which it took place, and that was on the 4th of May 1978. The same day as Kasinga, but this was a different place. He happened to be there on that day, and uh, despite being wounded, seriously wounded, he continued to lead his troops in combat. He further stated that the late commander joins the list of those whose blood waters the country's freedom. To Namibians, we should remember, like we remember all those people who have died and sacrificed for this country, I think he's amongst those really who stand out prominently in terms of making contribution individually and collectively. The late General Amupolo is survived by his wife and 12 children. Salomotenga, NBC News, Finduk.